Are you gonna buy me a Chanel bag? <coughs> sure, babe. So expensive. I know, babe. How much cost love? You didn't write me a card? No, I wish you would come back. Did you write me a card? Yeah, baby. I wish you would come back. No, you didn't. I so I will be bringing a suitcase on the cruise just because it's so much easier. And even though it's only for two days, um, I do want to bring absolutely everything that I need. And so that, you know, I have slightly more space here and there to add any last minute necessities or any sort of clothing that I'm missing last minute. I will be bringing five different outfits, so three different dresses, two tops, and two pants, as well as a long cardigan and a hoodie. I know that's only a two-day trip, but I want to make sure that I have options and also to, you know, take cute pictures, basically. Speaking of which, please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is right here. So my first dress is this one right here. Um, I actually got this from Revolve a few days ago and it is a Titus midi dress in baby blue and it looks like this. So it does have the side cuts all the way down to the back and there is also a slit on the side of the dress so it's a little bit more spontaneous and it's fun as well. The fabric is quite thick so I don't think I have to wear a bra with it but um, I'm just going to bring a strapless bra or a nipple patch with it. This one is actually a Topshop dress that my sister got a few years ago um, but she never wore it so I guess I will be wearing it on this trip. It's always good to revisit your closet, or in my case, my sister's closet, because you never know what you're going to find. But anyways, this is like a slip-on dress. It is a very flashy, disco kind of vibe that might be perfect for the cruise if I do go dancing. You can't really see it because of the lighting, but um, it has like these red or purple tones on it. So if you're under like the spotlight, you will definitely be very flashy. So this one, this beautiful dress, is actually another stolen dress um, from my sister's closet. This one is from, wait, I'm just going to check quickly. 
I don't want to pronounce the brand wrong. Okay, so this one is from Norma Kamali, and it's very Kim K kind of vibe. So as you can see, it's um, it has like a sheer black mesh overlay with a nude underlining. So it does have a very deep V-neck, and I do kind of want to slip that down right below my shoulders um, so that, you know, I look a little bit more sexy. But it's super cute, and it's not too... It's not too short. I believe this one comes just to my knees and I am five foot three. This is a top that I got from Zara, I believe in the summer, like a few months ago. And I never wore it. Um, I'm not really sure why because it's actually really cute. It's like a cropped cardigan and, and I think that it will match these boot cut jeans that I got right here. These are actually pretty long for me, so I might have to steal one of my boyfriend's sweatpants to wear with the cardigan, but I think that it will be a super cute outfit. The next top that I will be bringing is this, um, it's so small, so I don't know where it starts. Uh, cute. Okay, yeah, so it's this one right here. I think I got this in the summer as well, so a few months ago. So it is one of those spaghetti strap backless camisole crop tops, and I will be matching this with with these purple pants, which are super cute as well. So I've been trying not to wear all black. I kind of want to add more colors just because it is a winter right now in Hong Kong, but I don't want to look too dark if you know what i mean i want to go for something more flashy so i think that these pants would be perfect with this black top for shoes i will be bringing a few pairs i'm not exactly sure what but i am definitely going to be bringing first of all flip-flops because i'm not exactly sure if i will go swimming but just in case i do uh, because i did hear that the cruise has jacuzzis so maybe i'll wear them um, i do want to show you my flip-flops because they're super cute they're pink and sparkly and they're from javiana's but they're really dirty right now so i don't think you want to see them but I do want to show you these other heels that I got from Zara a few days ago. These are really cute. Um, I think these were on sale and I got them for 300 or 400 Hong Kong dollars. And these are closed toes one that I think will look super nice with the black Norma Kamali dress that I, that I have for my sister. I don't think the straps are long enough to go above my ankles, but they will look really cute just, just wrapped around once or twice around my ankles and then tied at the back. Just in case I do get tired or my feet hurts, then I will be wearing these super comfortable sandal heels that I got from Zara as well. Very much intact. They are a bit dirty, but they're super comfortable as well. Can we just talk about how cute these are? Can we just appreciate these slippers? They're so cute. Um, I got this from my sister for my birthday present back in October and I have been wearing these every single day because it is pretty cold and they're so cute and comfortable and so fluffy. Now for my skincare, I'm just going to be bringing the basics that I use every day. Hair soothing pad, which I use before anything else. Um, it's almost like a toner, I think, and um, it's super moisturizing. I've realized I use it day and night. And then I move on to my Salwasu First Care um, Activating Serum, which is super moisturizing. And then um, just my moisturizer from Kiehl's, which is the Ultra Facial Cream. I did recently purchase this and it's honestly perfect for the winter if you have dry skin like me. Yes, I will be linking all these items that I have mentioned below. I'm pretty excited because I've never been on a cruise before, so I guess I will see you guys there. Oh, my God. 